Jeremiah Chapter 33 And the word of Jehovah came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the guard, saying, Thus says Jehovah who does it, Jehovah who formed it to establish it Jehovah is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer you and tell you great and hidden things, which you do not know. For thus says Jehovah the God of Israel concerning the houses of this city and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which were torn down as a defense against the siege mounds and against the sword. And who came to fight with the Chaldeans and to fill the houses with the corpses of men whom I have struck in my anger and my wrath, and this city from which I have hidden my face because of all their wickedness. I am about to bring it recovery and healing and will heal them, and I will reveal to them an abundance of peace and truth. And I will turn the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel and build them up as in the former time. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, by which they have sinned against me, and forgive all their iniquities, by which they have sinned against me and by which they have transgressed against me. And it will be a name of gladness and a praise and a glory to me before all the nations of the earth, who will hear of all the good that I am about to do for them, and they will fear and tremble because of all the good and because of all the peace that I am about to provide for it. Thus says Jehovah, Again there will be heard in this place concerning which you say, It is a waste, without man and without beast, and in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate, without man and without inhabitant and without beast. The voice of gladness and the voice of joy and the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride and the voice of those who say, Praise Jehovah of hosts, for Jehovah is good, for his loving kindness is forever, as they bring a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the house of Jehovah, for I will turn the captivity of the land, as in the former time, says Jehovah. For thus says Jehovah of hosts, again there will be in this place which is a waste, without man and without beast, and in all its cities, a habitation of shepherds making their flock lie down. In the cities of the hill country, in the cities of the lowland and in the cities of the Negev and in the land of Benjamin and all around Jerusalem and in the cities of Judah, the flock will again pass under the hand of the one who counts them, says Jehovah. Indeed, days are coming, declares Jehovah, when I will establish the good word which I have spoken concerning the house of Israel and concerning the house of Judah. In those days and at that time I will cause a shoot of righteousness to shoot forth unto David, and he will execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days Judah will be saved, and Jerusalem will dwell securely, and this is the name by which she will be called, Jehovah our righteousness. For thus says Jehovah, David will never lack a man to sit on the throne of the house of Israel. And the Levitical priests will never lack a man before me to offer up a burnt offering and to offer up a meal offering and to make a sacrifice continually. And the word of Jehovah came to Jeremiah, saying, Thus says Jehovah, If you can break my covenant with respect to the day and my covenant with respect to the night, so that day and night will not be at their appointed time. Then also my covenant can be broken with David my servant, so that he will not have a son to reign on his throne, and with the Levitical priests as my ministers. As the host of heaven cannot be numbered and the sand of the sea cannot be measured, so I will multiply the seed of David my servant and the Levites who minister to me. And the word of Jehovah came to Jeremiah, saying, Have you not seen what this people has spoken, saying, The two families which Jehovah has chosen, these he has rejected? And they despise my people, so that they are no longer a nation in their sight. Thus says Jehovah, If my covenant with respect to day and night does not stand, if I have not established the statutes of heaven and earth, then I will also reject the seed of Jacob and David my servant and will not take rulers from his seed to be over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for I will turn their captivity and will have compassion on them. 
Jeremiah Chapter 34 The word which came to Jeremiah from Jehovah when Nebuchadrezzar the king of Babylon and all his army and all the kingdoms of the earth under his dominion and all the peoples were fighting against Jerusalem and against all its cities, saying, Thus says Jehovah the God of Israel, Go and speak to Zedekiah the king of Judah and say to him, Thus says Jehovah, I am about to give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he will burn it with fire. And you will not escape from his hand but will surely be captured and given into his hand, and your eyes will see the eyes of the king of Babylon, and he will speak with you mouth to mouth, and you will go into Babylon. Yet hear the word of Jehovah, O Zedekiah king of Judah, thus says Jehovah concerning you, you will not die by the sword. You will die in peace, and as there were burnings for your fathers, the former kings who were before you, so men will burn spices for you and wail for you, saying, Alas, Lord! Indeed, it is I who have spoken the word, declares Jehovah. Then Jeremiah the prophet spoke all these words to Zedekiah the king of Judah in Jerusalem. When the army of the king of Babylon was fighting against Jerusalem and against all the cities of Judah that were left, against Lachish and against Azekah, for these were the fortified cities that remained among the cities of Judah. The word which came to Jeremiah from Jehovah after King Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people who were in Jerusalem to proclaim liberty to them. That everyone should set free his male servant and every one his female servant, who is a Hebrew male or a Hebrew female, so that no one should exact service of them, that is, of a Jew his brother. And all the princes and all the people who had entered into the covenant obeyed, so as to set free every one his male servant and every one his female servant, so that no one would exact service of them again, and they obeyed and set them free. But afterward they turned around and took back the male servants and the female servants, whom they had set free, and they brought them into subjection as male servants and as female servants. And the word of Jehovah came to Jeremiah from Jehovah, saying, Thus says Jehovah the God of Israel, I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, saying, At the end of every seven years each of you shall set free his brother who is a Hebrew, who was sold to you and has served you six years, and you shall set him free from you, but your fathers did not listen to me or incline their ear. And you had turned in these days and done what is right in my eyes to proclaim liberty, each one to his neighbor, and you made a covenant before me in the house which is called by my name. But you turned and profaned my name when you took back each one his male servant and each one his female servant, whom you had set free according to their desire, and brought them into subjection to be your male servants and your female servants. Therefore thus says Jehovah, you have not listened to me to proclaim liberty each one to his brother and each one to his neighbor, I am now proclaiming liberty to you, declares Jehovah, to sword and to pestilence and to famine, and I will make you a terror to all the kingdoms of the earth. And I will give the men who transgressed my covenant and did not establish the words of the covenant which they made before me when they cut the calf in two and passed between its parts. The princes of Judah and the princes of Jerusalem, the eunuchs and the priests and all the people of the land who passed between the parts of the calf. Indeed, I will give them into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of those who seek their life, and their corpses will be food for the birds of the sky and the beasts of the earth. And Zedekiah the king of Judah and his princes I will give into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of those who seek their life and into the hand of the army of the king of Babylon, which has withdrawn from you. I hereby give the command, declares Jehovah, to bring them back to this city, and they will fight against it and capture it and burn it with fire, and I will make the cities of Judah a desolation, without inhabitant. Jeremiah. Chapter 35. The word which came to Jeremiah from Jehovah in the days of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah, the king of Judah, 
saying, Go to the house of the Rechabites and speak with them and bring them to the house of Jehovah, into one of the chambers, and give them wine to drink. So I took Jazaniah the son of Jeremiah, the son of Habaziniah, and his brothers and all his sons and the whole house of the Rechabites. And I brought them to the house of Jehovah, into the chamber of the sons of Hanan the son of Igdalia, the man of God, which was near the chamber of the princes, which was above the chamber of Messiah the son of Shalom, the keeper of the threshold. And I set before the members of the house of the Rechabites pitchers full of wine in cups, and I said to them, Drink wine. But they said, We will drink no wine, for Jonadab the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, saying, You shall not drink wine, you and your sons, forever. And you shall not build a house, and you shall not sow seed, and you shall not plant a vineyard or have one, but you shall dwell in tents all your days, that you may live many days on the land where you are sojourning. And we have listened to the voice of Jonadab the son of Rechab, our father, to all that he commanded us, to drink no wine all our days, we, our wives, our sons, and our daughters. And not to build houses for us to dwell in, neither do we have a vineyard or a field or seed. But we have dwelt in tents and have listened to and done according to all that Jonadab our father commanded us. But when Nebuchadrezzar the king of Babylon came up against the land we said, Come and let us go to Jerusalem from before the army of the Chaldeans and from before the army of the Syrians. So we are dwelling in Jerusalem. Then the word of Jehovah came to Jeremiah, saying, Thus says Jehovah of hosts, the God of Israel, Go and say to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Will you not receive instruction by listening to my words? Declares Jehovah. The words of Jonadab the son of Rechab, by which he commanded his sons to drink no wine, have been established, and they have drunk no wine unto this day, for they have obeyed the command of their father. But I have spoken to you, rising up early in speaking, yet you have not listened to me. I have also sent to you all my servants the prophets, rising up early in sending them, saying, Turn now every one from his evil way, and amend your deeds, and do not go after other gods to serve them, and you will dwell in the land which I gave to you and to your fathers, but you did not incline your ear or listen to me. But the sons of Jonadab the son of Rechab have established the commandment of their father, which he commanded them, yet this people have not listened to me. Therefore thus says Jehovah the God of hosts, the God of Israel, I am about to bring on Judah and on all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil which I have spoken against them, because I spoke to them, but they did not listen, and I called to them, but they did not answer. But to the house of the Rechabites Jeremiah said, Thus says Jehovah of hosts, the God of Israel, because you have listened to the commandment of Jonadab your father and have kept all his commandments and have done according to all that he commanded you. Therefore thus says Jehovah of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab the son of Rechab will never lack a man to stand before me forever.